Here's the 1950 Hammond B2 organ. I'll give you a little cosmetic tour and then I'll give you a demonstration. Um, cosmetically it's in really good shape. The bench probably has taken the worst of it. It has sort of a faded dull top. Uh, but the sides and legs are nice. You can see kind of that dullness in the reflection. The organ chassis or body is really clean and in nice shape. You can see no sun fading really on the top, no damage anywhere, some periodic nicks. I'll try and point them out, but in general, pretty clean. I mean, you can see there's things like that here and there, but pretty good. Show you the top. It's got a couple of little blemishes. There's some, looks like water damage here from maybe a potted plant or something. Um, sorry about the reflection, it's just that there. Um, little bits of marks on the top. There's some more here. And it's kind of like grime. Okay, so that's cosmetically. Looks pretty good. Pedals are pretty good too. They've got some of the finish scraped up on the tops of them where, the, where your feet go, but in general they're nice and clean. So you'll see this organ has the Trek 2 percussion kit. I have the original cheek block that I'll include if for whatever reason you wanted to remove that. But the percussion works great. That's just percussion that we're hearing now. It has some selectable harmonics. These are the ratchet style draw bars, the early ones. Um, everything works great, no missing tones or anything. The vibrato works well. choppiness or anything. Turn that off. Okay. Same with the lower manual. Everything works great. We're on the B preset here. that. I can demonstrate the pedals a little bit. Hope you can hear that on the camera. I can turn up the upper harmonic. It's got beautiful pedal playing. And uh, I'll show you the motor here. Let's set down this camera. See, uh, there's no other connection set up here. Originally, this had a tone cabinet um, output, and I removed it. And I added this little pigtail just to take the tension off of the built in plug. Here's the original AO10 motor. Looks great, sounds good, no uh, crackling or humming. And the tone generator, which is whizzing along nicely. 
Everything's in generally clean and in good order back here. It has the silver vibrato line box, which has helped me date it to uh, 1950. Not sure I can get a read on this text, but that's the cereal plate. So there she is. Pretty nice example of uh, 1950 Hammond B2.